Artie Smith, mm -hmm. is expected Ooh. to be a Pittsburgh Steeler. What? Pittsburgh. Whoa. Yes. Says Tom Pelissero, the Steelers are expected to hire former Falcons coach Arthur Smith as their offense coordinator per sources. Now, remember, Tom Pelissero and everybody is down in Mobile, Alabama mm -hmm. at the Reese's Senior Bowl where there might be some loose lips around lobbies and drinks. So we should see some more news break this week out of the Senior Bowl, which we were watching earlier today. One-on-ones are oh, electrifying yeah. on NFL Network. Obviously, people can change what the NFL thinks about them in one week down in beautiful Mobile, Alabama. Artie Smith, though, seemingly yeah. the next offense coordinator for the Pittsburgh Steelers. There's some Steelers fans that are only going to remember Artie Smith as the guy with his play sheet over his head in Atlanta. Or potentially remember the Atlanta Falcons fans that were in the audience for us during our Georgia game booing him whenever his yeah. name was mentioned. Let's remember that the reason why he has that head coaching job is because what he did at the Tennessee Titans organization with Derrick Henry, Tannehill, right. and the boys was so good he got a head coaching gig basically – out of nowhere after sleeping on couches for a decade or so. I think this is a good hire for the Pittsburgh Steelers. We know Artie. Mm -hmm. He's a strapping lad. Man. Pittsburgh people are going to enjoy the way Artie operates. As a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, how do you feel about it, Tone Dude? Yeah, uh, to your point right there about the Steelers fans, some Steelers fans, it's a majority of them. Um, and I don't say this lightly. Those Steelers fans are idiots. Um, okay, so those same Steelers fans were saying, we need to get back to the Steeler way and run the football. Okay. As an OC with the Titans, they were number two and number three in the league in rushing yards and touchdowns. Uh, they got the one seed one year, and they went to the AFC Championship the other year, so I don't know if that's good or not. And they were up, what, 14 on the Kansas City Chiefs? Yep. Yep. Yeah, bingo. That was, yeah, that was the AFC Championship. They lost in that one. And then in Atlanta, started the uh, mm -hmm. in the three years, uh, two of those years they were in the top ten. One of them they were in the top five in rushing. Oh, but he didn't get Bijan touches. Okay, he had four. Bijan had four less touches per game than CMC, who was leading the league in them. So, miss me with all that bullshit. This is a great hire. I hope he keeps a mustache. I hope we have an identity running the football. I, I am very happy with this. Yeah, his dad, a Marine. Ooh, I think he's going to love being in Pittsburgh. Yeah. I think Pittsburgh's going to love Artie Smith, and I think Artie gotta, is going to love Pittsburgh. Oh, got to – hey, look. Got to develop their quarterback. Either develop or find a quarterback. I know the run game is one thing, but we talked about the AFC earlier with all these quarterbacks over there. Like, you got to find a guy or develop a guy. guy. To your point, uh, he was that particular year, especially with Derrick Henry behind him, and maybe Naj will be able to do that, or Warren will be able to do that for the Pittsburgh Steelers in the backfield. Rooney, the owner of the Pittsburgh Steelers, came out and said, Kenny Pickett's the guy. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about development, it's going to be Kenny Pickett, I believe, in the Pittsburgh Steelers' eye. They spent a first-round pick on a quarterback. That very rarely happens. They're going to give him every opportunity to succeed. Mm -hmm. Now, what happened with Desmond Ritter and Artie? Didn't, you know. Right. But different. I think a lot of people in Pittsburgh would say, Kenny's got more talent than Desmond Ritter. Kenny has shown flashes of being great. That offense now, with Mason Rudolph, certainly went to higher levels. But if Kenny Pickett would have had the opportunity with the new offense coordinators, maybe he does the same things that Mason Rudolph was able to accomplish. Massive question marks mm -hmm. still on the offensive huge. side of the ball. But now at least there's a little bit of a, a narrative in which way they're headed with Artie Smith. Huge, huge, huge question mark. Uh, and Rooney and Tomlin both came out and said, this is a big year for Kenny. So it feels yeah. like like this is a do or die year. Yeah.